for me to say, for instance, in an argumentation with you, that you do not rightfully own all of your nature given body is contradicted by the fact that it's so hard and not fight. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to, in the most simplest terms I can, explain argumentation ethics. So what is argumentation ethics? No, it's not a form of meta-ethics like deontology, virtue ethics, or consequentialism. It's actually a proof which is aimed to justify property rights. The argument that Hopp proposes in argumentation ethics is that one cannot logically deny self-ownership without being caught in a performative contradiction. Firstly, let's go ahead and define a couple terms and what is self-ownership well self-ownership just describes that we have a right to make exclusive use of our thoughts and actions and in order to justify this right it can be done argumentatively so then why did I originally say property rights and not self-ownership well the two words can be used interchangeably so what are property rights what is private property? Well, property is defined as a scarce natural resource that is mixed with one's labor, and what makes this property private is if it's under exclusive jurisdiction over an individual. We, as ourselves, are a scarce natural resource. That is, there can only be one of us at one place at one time, and we are owned by ourselves. So, what does argumentation have to do with anything about justifying property rights? Well, what is argumentation? Argumentation is the only form of peaceful conflict conflict resolution, and it's simply propositional exchanges. In order to engage in argumentation, one must have the right to his own thoughts and actions. If he did not, then argumentation would be impossible. Because of this, argumentation requires the presuppositional norms of self-ownership and non-aggression, since you chose argumentation. Because of this, you gave an a priori justification to this, and therefore arguing against it is a performative contradiction. And what is a performative contradiction? Well, a performative contradiction is when you dispute the very same norm you presuppose. For example, the phrase, I am dead, is a performative contradiction because you have to presuppose that you are alive to say that you're dead. Since you presuppose the property ethic, Disputing it in your argument would just present logical incoherence, and therefore the argument cannot be made against property rights. And that's argumentation ethics explained. So that does it for this video of explaining argumentation ethics. If there's any other things or concepts you guys would like me to explain, then let me know in the comments below. And these videos take quite a bit of time to make, actually. I know they're only like three minutes long but a lot of, I spend a lot of time editing these videos, so if you could support me by liking the video and subscribing, that would be great. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you